shining my light like jewels. I'm lucky. You represent the sexy ladies in Africa. Come on, let's dance. I'm just very positive about life. I feel like I was put on earth to be better, to do something better, to make change in people and always like add value to people that um, I'm a part of their life. The struggle that you went through as a young woman to get married and then this point in your life, I'm so happy for you. And just continue and be the best you can be all the time as you should. Thank you, love you. <laughs> People have everything to say without knowing our stories or our journeys. So I think it's such an important thing that you have done to tell your own narrative. Don't let them tell it for you. Congratulations. I will urge you to continue. Dream big. I know you're a go-getter and a dream chaser. The sky is definitely not your limit. Congratulations once more. I'm glad that she came up to write the book. Many ways people can express themselves in life. So she took it took on this stage to express herself in this way. I'm just encouraging every single person in here to spread the word. Reading is great. Yes, sometimes we read fiction. Fiction is sometimes unrealistic. But when you read a book authored by Juliet Ibrahim, what you're taking away is knowing her better, knowing what other women are going through, knowing what your children potentially will go through and how to handle it as a better parent. Let me say a very big congratulations to her once again. And um, to all of us, whether you're a parent or not, we can all teach people around us to be resilient. At this moment, we are actually going to toast to life, but not just Juliet Ibrahim's life, but to our own lives. Being here is actually an honor and a blessing for each and of, I mean, each of us to be alive now. So raise your glasses and let's toast to life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.